Hey folks, welcome back. I'm going to bring you along on doing a quick little video here on doing the valve adjustment here on this 1938 John Deere Model AR. It's an unstyled two-cylinder. Uh, I don't have a service manual, um, and I did find some stuff online about, you know, the how to set these, and I just don't quite understand it. I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, and he says the best way to, to do this is the way I'm going to show you. It's real simple because in the service manual it talks about, um, you know, putting it, well, the valves are loose and then rolling the <clears throat> deal a certain degrees. And, you know, I mean, it, it's just, it's kind of confusing, but he said if you just go through uh, all of these deals and you go in between like uh, 20 thousandths to maybe 25 thousandths somewhere in there for your uh, um, gap, then um, on all of them, then you'll uh, you'll you'll be gold, golden, and it's real easy to do. So basically, the first thing um, that you do need to do is is uh, get it to where all of these are uh, closed, or yeah, closed. And so the, these are all loose, and um, you'll know you're in the right position. Uh, for one thing, on this tractor, you've got this where it says this LH impulse um this has to do with your timing and all that of your magneto and all whatnot so uh pretty much that being straight up and down and then you know when the way that you roll this is uh counterclockwise um and you'll know that this is in the right position is because if you start rolling this counterclockwise you'll see that this first exhaust valve eventually starts to uh close and that's how you know that you're in the right position. So we'll roll this thing back to where it was. And now we're back to being loose again. So that's as simple as that. And then we'll just go through here and check with a feeler gauge. Uh, this one right here is uh, pretty loose. Like this is a 25 thousandths feeler gauge. So basically I'm going to go back and they're just going to set all of these uh, around 20. So we just go through here. This uh, one right here, these two intakes both feel really good. Yeah, so that's, I'm gonna leave that one. And that one's good. And the outer one over there. That's pretty good. So we're just gonna do uh, this one right here, so. Get the camera on a stand so we can see it better. And... All right, so we got our 20 thousandths uh, feeler gauge right here. Okay, so we got a um, 9 16 wrench and a 3 quarter wrench. So, but you know what to do is uh, take the 9 16 and you know, loosen up this uh, jam nut. Oh, while holding this one too, but usually it's okay. Then you know it's threaded in here too, so this you know you'll want to pick the direction to uh, make this rocker you know go tighter. Which I'm going the wrong way, I think. Yeah. As you're doing it, just move the feeler gauge back and forth a little bit because you want just a little bit of drag. We'll hold that right there and then we'll uh, tighten down this jam nut. Check it. So, so to give a close up on it, what we're doing here, just a smidge of drag right there with 20,000, so that's perfect. That's what you want right there. And then, uh, I don't know the torque of these deals, but they weren't too terribly tight if I had to guess, it's probably like 40 pounds or so, give or take, but. Um, I just tightened up based on what that felt like 
loosening them up. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, how to do this. Um, it's real easy to uh, get this valve cover off of here. These two uh, nuts right here, you know, will hold the valve cover on. And just pull it off and there you are. Um, as far as I'm aware, uh, this should be an exhaust. These two should be intake and this over here should be the exhaust for that cylinder. It's pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how that goes, but I could be wrong. These could be the exhaust. I really don't know because I don't exactly know how this whole thing goes because obviously you got your uh, air intake coming in here but you got your exhaust going out on this side. So I really don't know. And I've never really looked in this thing to figure out what, what it is. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not an expert on these tractors, but, uh, the guy that I talked to said, this is a perfect way to get these valves adjusted make sure everything's is fine. So, uh, he said there's going to be some variances in, in these, some of them take a screwdriver, I think, you know, to, to tighten and do this on us, you know, but between depending on your year and all that. So, but you should be able to figure that part out of it, but um, yeah. So, anyways, that should should be that, and uh, got some more content coming up with this one here, especially uh, starting and all that. Um, and so, anyways, yeah, we'll uh, keep on right going. Uh, thanks for watching.